Just few days back, Elon Musk posted a video of SpaceX ships casting Falcon 9 fairings on his Twitter account. SpaceX fairing recovery mechanism is another example of complex engineering. SpaceX team made it look so easy that most of us didn't even realize how complex it is to catch an object freely falling from the space. So, now the question is, how did they catch it? Before jumping to understand how SpaceX caught Falcon 9 fairing multiple times, let's get to know what fairing really is in the first place. A fairing is essentially a nose cone used to protect spacecraft or any payload against the dynamic pressure and aerodynamic heating during the launch through an atmosphere. Whenever the payload is released in orbit, fairings are just ejected from it and then they simply fall towards the Earth. If Earth didn't have any atmosphere, then there was no need to use any fairings, just like they did in the movie Martian. Now imagine someone is throwing a ball up in the air. It's incredibly difficult to catch it even for a trained player. And here we are talking about a payload fairing just flowing with the wind. It can ideally go anywhere but still the crew member successfully maneuvers the recovery ship and catches the fairings. It is simply incredible. Well. A very little is known about the specifics of fairing recovery beyond the fact that fairing halves have cold gas thrusters for positioning it in vacuum and uses a GPS guided parafoils to travel towards a rough landing zone. With thrusters and GPS, we can determine at which point it is going to enter into Earth's atmosphere and based on the wind speed and direction, approximate area of splashdown could be located. But still, these conditions are highly unstable and hence not much time is available for actually catching the fairing in real time. Big shout out to SpaceX or Pilot for controlling the ship and fairing shoot. It's even better than the dude perfect record of scoring the basket from highest building. I hope you liked the video. If so, please give a huge thumbs up for me and for more such exciting videos. Please do subscribe to Science Today. See you again in the next video.